Anfall! Ich bin Übersturmbannführer Lenny Bl <coughs> Sorry, got something caught in my throat there. I am Lo-Fi Thrasher Lenny Blade and this is the Retro Hunter Thailand Show. And I've been on a um, World War II... Uh, in, in a World War II period I've been watching a lot of movies, series... Uh, I've been playing a lot of games, uh, board games, video games, uh, I've been, you know, reading a lot of books, watching documentaries, all that good stuff. I don't know, sometimes you just get into it. I think part of it is because the uh, our uh, wargaming group, the Korat War Room, has been uh, upping our activity lately and we've added Axis and Allies to our roster of games that we play, so... Really excited about that. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about my book pickups for the past couple of months or so. So, uh, last month I went to see uh, Bay Area Thrash Metal uh, Veterans Heathen in Bangkok. And it was a really good show. I just can't believe how good they still are. You know, uh, the new material seems great as well. So, unfortunately, they did that Set Me Free, the Sweet cover. Oh, always hated that song. I don't know why they put that on the album. I don't, and it was the single, too. They, they were, I think they only had one video from that album, and they decided to make it the Sweet cover. Ugh. Anyways. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So, every time I'm in Bangkok for shows or things like that, I tend to uh, hit up all the second-hand bookstores and the Kunikuya sort of, that's a Korean franchise, they have English books. Good stuff. I didn't get any English books, but I did find a couple of second-hand books. So first up is The Eagle Has Landed. Now, this book is, you know, everyone knows, uh, either the book or the movie. And, like, the whole book is, uh, it's like, like the storytelling and the characters. It's all about the storytelling and the characters, building up the characters just to kill them off in the end. So... It's a complete build-up to the last maybe four chapters or so where uh, the actual, sort of the action takes place. But yeah, it's a great book if you haven't uh, read it. I haven't seen the movie, uh, so I, I don't know. I'm planning on watching it someday. I've heard it's good, but uh, the book is really good. Continuing on the World War II theme, I picked up a Leo Kassler book. Now you, you can see that this is... Uh, the uh, Swedish version, so it, usually when you find other languages than English, they are really cheap at second-hand bookstores. This one was 19 baht, I think, yes. And Leo Kessler is not... It's sort of the... Uh, the reading equivalent of watching a Commando <laughs> with Arnold or something. You know, it's not gonna blow your mind, it's nothing mind, you know, expanding. It's just violence and sex and uh, that stuff. And I also picked up the uh, Angels of Death about Göring's uh, Luftwaffe. So this is obviously something that I'm uh, interested in as well. So looking forward to diving into that. I also picked up a book on Rommel, the Desert Fox. The uh, This is one of my favorite generals, uh, probably of all time, but certainly in World War II. And he was sort of the gentleman general. Actually, the whole theater of North Africa was uh, known as like the gentleman's war because it was, you saw less of that savagery and cruelty that you would see in, in the other theaters, like the, you know, the Pacific or Europe or whatever. So... You know, they treated each other with uh, respect. There, obviously, there are uh, exceptions. So, uh, I've heard a lot of good stuff about this book, so I'm looking forward to reading that. I also picked up... Finally got a copy of Ivanhoe. I've never read the book. I've watched both movies. Uh, and uh, watched a little bit of the series as well, with, with uh, Roger Moore. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, but now I finally get to to read the unabridged uh, version. So I found that second hand as well. And also a slightly con controversial book, because what would, uh, would it be without 
that. So this is Infidel by uh, Ayan Hirsi Ali. And when it comes to non-fiction, I prefer I prefer people who are not in one that are not pigeonholed. Sort of uh, oh, he's you know a leftist. He's a you know right winger. I prefer to read because. In my opinion, most of the brilliant minds are people that were sort of neither left nor right. They were just themselves, you know, like uh, like Ali, for example, uh, George Orwell. You know, the left and the right tried to claim him the left because of his uh, anti-authoritarianism, and the right because of his, you know, he, he was a big defender of you know the right to bear arms, for example, and things like that. But. Uh, and uh, Christopher Hitchens was another one that sort of swayed from left to right. No one at towards the end. I don't think anyone wanted him. But <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. So I, I prefer you know Arnold Schwarzenegger is another guy who's obviously a Republican, but a lot of uh, you know his ideas weren't necessarily uh, confined within within you know right wing or whatever. So anyways, looking forward to reading that. I've seen a couple of her. Uh, lectures on YouTube and I have listened to like two chapters on audiobook but I, I prefer the real uh, the real book also I would like to thank uh, my good friend Tatum for gifting me two books the first one is uh, this one name of the wild the name of the wind, so name of the wild. You can tell that I haven't read it yet, right? He really recommended this. Name of the wind, right? Patrick uh, Rothfuss. Never read anything by him before. I haven't read this book yet, uh, but uh, obviously uh, he recommended it to me, and he gave me his copy. Like you have to read this, and that was months ago, and I still haven't read it. Sorry, Tatum. I'm getting into it. I, I started uh, reading this one, which was also gifted by him. Uh, this is Ro Robert Jordan's Eye of the World. Now this one I know a little bit more about. It's a little bit more popular, I would say, or it seems. And uh, there are more books in the series. And I started reading this. I read the first two chapters, but then something came up, you know, and then you know how it is, like you leave a book for two weeks and then you come back to it and you're like, eh, I want to go back and reread everything so you have a, a clear grasp on what's going on. And I never did that, so <laughs> I think this will be my next uh, book that I read, actually. And one another book that he gave me as well, Tatum, is uh, Of Dice and Men, which is the history of Dungeons and Dragons and uh, sort of uh, an overlook of the people who play Dungeons and Dragons and Nothing, not much that I didn't already know. It goes from all the way from the the war games and the miniature games up to the D and D uh, that we uh, know today. Uh, good read, nothing mind blowing. Also, I would like to give a little shout out to my man Phil Nash in Chonburi. And if you remember, Nash was the guy that I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see my Warhammer. Can you see it? My Warhammer third edition over there somewhere. Anyways. Dun 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 dun. Eh. Eh. Hi. So, <laughs> uh, if you remember him from that episode, maybe. Uh, my Warhammer pickup episode. Uh, he had a couple of doubles of uh, the Fighting Fantasy series. He also collects these. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have any doubles to trade with him, so he sold them to me for a, for a decent price, I might add. And the ones I picked up is Talisman of Death, which is number 11. And that one is written by both of them. And then I got two Livingstone books, City of Thieves and Temple of Terror. Uh, number 5 and number 14. I remember uh, City of Thieves. I played this one before. So, uh, looking forward into diving into these again. So anyways, uh, that's that's my book pickups for the last 
couple of months, and remember, kids, reading is cool. Do it.